what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest rising OS official and this is the version 1.4 Elysium and this update I have also flashed on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and I have to say this ROM is coming out for all of the devices and I'm loving it because it's a really stable ROM with a super customizable look that you can customize depending on your taste and this is the 17th September 2023 build on this device and let me tell you there are two separate versions like dynamic and legacy for redmi k20 pro there are some dynamic partition roms and these are like newer kind of storages i am not using that i'm using still the legacy kind of options so that's why i have clicked on the legacy option and i have flashed the legacy version if you're checking the notes these are the things that are mentioned like the latest like a camera version 5 and stuff is included there are both separate G apps and vanilla builds and as usual I have flashed the G apps included variant and by the way if you are wondering if my storage is decrypted or not yes my storage is perfectly decrypted on the Redmi K20 Pro and if you don't know how to flash these ROMs you can check out the flashing guide from the description in the about section this is how it looks like we have the rising Y 1.4 for Redmi K20 Pro and we have the official build by Mohammed Al Arabi so huge thanks to the developers of this ROM and we have the Android version as Tiramisu or 13 and we have the rising OS version here mentioned as 1.4 Elysium the good thing is the security patch it's coming out with is the September 5th 2023 security patch the stock kernel here is the 4.14 Soviet star kernel in the system settings we still have the buttons and stuff and we have the Power menu customization advanced reboot is there we can enable the device control if you want and we have the long press power button toggle door if you scroll down more we have the volume button kind of stuff and we have the show volume panel on the left side click to partial screenshot all these features and in here we have the gestures and the quick tap or the back tap functions are there and these are the options for that let me go back we have the quick open camera you can use it if you want we have the system navigation gestures in the settings of it we have the pill length and radius customization but with the maximum options this is how it looks we have the swipe to invoke assistant that too is working fine left edge right edge customization is there two button three button navigations are there and we have the one-handed mode as well that too is working fine double tap to check phone long press on the finger sensor that's the screen of a 40 you can say and we have the press and hold power button actions and the prevent ringing option the rising os updater is there you can check for updates from right here if you want now let me tell you that like actually why i love this rom for the redmi k20 pro more than the redmi note 10 pros because this device has a fingerprint on screen and or the fingerprint on display and that actually looks so beautiful just notice this ring it definitely looks like a nothing kind of device i guess and as you can see there is the nothing dot font and stuff and with all of those this actually looks really really beautiful and this is the reason why i love this rom for the redmi k20 pro and here if i just tap on the fingerprint scanner just notice the animations everything it's like perfectly fast and smooth fingerprint scanner experience even the pickup gesture is working fine let me show you if i put the device on the desk and just pick it up on my hand as you can see pickup gesture worked perfectly and it definitely looks really really cool in the always on display on this redmi k20 pro that i have to say now some of the things like the customization and stuff i'm not gonna be able to show you all of them because it's gonna take a lot of time so i would say if you're looking for the customizations of this rom specifically just watch the redmi note 10 pros video there i showed all the customization but here i'm gonna be showing you a quick overview of this particular rom for this redmi k20 pro and here the stock launcher is still the autos launcher we have the icon customization the home screen customization and we have the double tap to sleep and stuff the gesture things are there but last time i tried it it was not working maybe i need a reboot or something like that we have the app drawer stuff and we have the recents then we have the memory info background opacity clear all and the lens kill app pin app screenshot split app all these options and this is how the recent panel actually looks like let me show you there is the screenshot the lock app option the split app option and the google lens the clear all and on the bottom you can see the ram usage status in the miscellaneous settings we have the use taskbar allow home screen rotation and the enable haptic feedback on recent scroll then the launcher vibration intensity and all these things like the stations and stuff you can disable from right here to the left of the home screen we still have the google's discover page swiping up will get to the app drawer swiping down will get to the quick setting panel the good thing is the quick setting panel stays light in this room in the light theme and if you just enable the dark theme of course it will turn dark let me show you the widgets this is how it looks like the battery widget and stuff and the animations of them are actually working perfectly fine no problems whatsoever even the clock widget and stuff will be working fine no need to worry about them talking about the quick setting panel toggles we have the wi-fi mobile data the bluetooth toggle flashlight auto rate night light and the google home controls battery saver the screen recording is there and there is the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time hevc options and stuff are there now here we do have a refresher toggle but it doesn't work in only switches to 60 hertz here it shows 
so yeah, i think just keep it on auto or something like that so you won't get the like 90 hertz and stuff all those things in this rom you will only get 60 hertz in this rom and that is really stable 60 hertz no issues so far with that we have the heads up nearby share do not disturb one handed mode the sound toggle is there that shows ring right here but if you keep tapping on it as you can see you can switch the output device the volume panel looks so dope and you can actually expand the volume panel just like this and you can turn up or down the volume from here we have the do not disturb dc dimming the high brightness mode and the ambient display data saver airplane mode extra dim and then the hotspot is also there let's talk about the stock camera well this is the camera that you are getting this is the Leica camera version 5 it is a really stable experience with this camera as you can see the 0.6x is working fine 1x 2x all those options are there you just swipe up you will get multiple different options like the vlog short film slow motion and the movie effects long exposure etc and let me go back we have the documents mode as well you can take enhanced mode pictures and even the pro mode you can take videos and that too up to 4k and 60 fps with this device that's just awesome as you can see 4k 60 fps right now is working and you can also switch the output from right here let me show you Trinity and like fps you can switch from right here so pretty much for redmi k20 pro the 4k and 60 fps it's huge I would say and we have the night mode 48 megapixel mode etc and in the photo mode if you just swipe down there is multiple different features let me show you if the portrait mode is working as you can see it is working perfectly fine even with the front camera yep the front camera is also working perfectly fine it's a very optimized camera and if you're wondering about the shutter speed it takes the photos really fast let me switch to the photo mode and if I just take a quick photo just notice how fast it takes the photos I'll give you some examples in your screen so yeah, having the Leica camera version 5 right out of the box, it's a really great feature to have in my personal opinion. Talking about the basic things, yes, the security level shows as L1 of DRM Info and that's really good because you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime in 1080p with this feature. The safety net passes right out of the box, so banking apps will not be a problem on this ROM. And the Google Photos app does show that this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos. So this is again a really nice feature to have right out of the box. In the display settings, we have the brightness level, adaptive brightness and the lock screen customization. In here, we have the allow face unlock kind of stuff and it does this kind of animation everywhere. And we have the control from lock device, double line clock. If you scroll down mode, we have the always on display. Then the wake screen for notification and stuff is there. Let me go back. We have the screen timeout up to 30 minutes. I would suggest for the Redmi K20 Pro just disable this screen adaptation. Otherwise, it may pop out the front camera in time to time. And we have the dark theme customization right here. We have the pure black option as well if you need that. Then we have the display size and text. You can customize that. And the night light is also there. There is the intensity and the schedule option right here. If you scroll down more, we have the live display. Then we get the color calibration right here. And we also get the boosted and saturated adaptive all these colors. I have been using it with a boosted one. The rotation customization is also there. And we have the display cutout. For some reason, we don't need it for the K20 Pro. We have the allow window level blur, double tap to sleep, wake up on plug, desktop mode. And there is an ambient display right here. And there is the pickup option. And I have already showed you the pickup option is actually working fine, no issues. And the custom display settings is there. So you can enable the DC dimming and the high brightness mode right here. With the high brightness mode, just notice how bright the display goes. In the wallpapers and styles, this is how it looks like. If you go into the change wallpapers, we still get the nothing kind of wallpapers. Like the nothing phone one wallpapers are here. Of course, that's what I have been using. Looks so beautiful. And you can also use the nothing phone two wallpapers if you want with this nothing 2.0. Also, there is the rising beauty and stuff. All of these wallpapers are there right out of the box. And there is the wallpaper and basic colors right here in case you want to use that. There is a dark theme, the shortcuts, app grid you can change from right here up to 6 by 10. For some reason, it shows a different font over here. Looks cool. And we have the right and left shortcut for the lock screen. Now let me show you the battery settings. This is how it looks like. In this device, it is actually showing the charging cycles, the battery temperature, the current and design battery capacity. That's just insane for the K20 Pro. And we have the battery kind of bar right here. If you scroll down more, we have the adaptive charging mode, the battery saver, the charging control is also there. So you can use it for like using it automatically schedule option and stuff. I think it will be working. And there is the adaptive preference options. Now let me show you with the Aku battery app. I have got here it shows about 6 hours screen on time but I would say it will definitely give you 7 plus hours of screen on time in my personal opinion and there is a screen off or the standby it's about a week and even the combine use you can see almost like two and a half days I would say so definitely it will give you amazing experience with the battery life if you have replaced your battery if your battery is anything more than three years old 
it may not perform as it should be and in the health section right now my battery health shows as 91% because then again this is a new battery and if you are wondering about my charging cycles this has about 92 charging cycles so this battery is fairly new and with that the battery life that I have been getting I would say it's decent not bad at all and even the fast charging here is working perfectly fine no problems that I have faced. In the sound and vibration settings, this is how it looks like. We have the media call ring, etc. Volume controls. If you scroll down more, we have the system haptics and stuff. You can customize the whole UI intensity with this. And we have the part app volume control, touch sound, charging sound, etc. Live caption and the now playing the direct kind of sounds are there. And the Mi Audio Direct is actually working fine with the youth edition. There is the sound preset options and even the enable hi fi option. And the sound quality via the headphone jack, the Bluetooth headsets, and even the speakers and the earpiece, everything is perfectly fine. Of course, Vaulty calling and stuff will be working if you inside a Vaulty SIM card. And talking about calling, that this ROM offers, I think, uh, oxygen kind of dialer. And with that, if you go into the sound and vibration settings, we still have the call recording option. That is the auto call recording. So you can use it. It won't announce. And we have the auto format out as well with this. So call recording and stuff you get right out of the box. This is a really nice feature to have. And we also have this ROM specific contacts and messaging app. You can use it if you want. In the security settings, if I go into the settings of it, we have the quick unlock, the power button instantly locks and the enable pin privacy and stuff. We have the app lock right here and the face unlock and fingerprint both options are there. And I have set it up everything. So let me show you again with the screen of a 40. Yes, it works. As you can see, the screen was off and I just tapped on the middle of the fingerprint scanner and it unlocked. Let me show you one more time. So yeah, this is really good. The screen of a 40 is working perfectly fine. It looks so beautiful. And if I just double tap to wake, let me show you. Yeah, that too is working perfectly fine. It goes into the lock screen and let me show you. Yeah, I have to tap and hold. As you can see, the lock screen shortcuts are actually working perfectly fine. No issues so far with those. And if I just swipe up, it will try to unlock with the face unlock. And as you can see, it does. So yeah, the face unlock, the fingerprint scanner, everything is working perfectly fine. And that's a really nice experience to have, I have to say. And talking about the app lock, let me show you. If you open a lock tab, this is how it will look. And you have to tap the fingerprint scanner area. And of course, it will unlock if it registers the proper fingerprint. Yes, talking about normal performance, yes. With like 60 hertz and stuff, it's not something like close to 90 hertz. But otherwise, the normal experience, it's really good. Because I would say yes, even though the Evolution X for the Redmi K20 Pro does offer 90 hertz, but recently I have seen that ROM has some kind of camera issues. Like if you take rear camera photos, the camera just full stops. These kind of bugs, but here those things does not happen. So I would say even with 60 hertz, this is a really stable experience that you are getting over here. And let me show you the Twitter scrolling and stuff. It's working perfectly fine. Even with 60 hertz, it's a really buttery smooth experience. If you are okay with 60 hertz, you will be fine with it, of course. Even phones are launching for 80,000 today. Those are 60 hertz phones. You know which phone I'm talking about. <laughs> I would say still the Redmi K20 Pro is holding up. Even though this is a three and three and a half years old device, the performance of this is still holding up really, really well that I have to say. And even switching between apps, it's just not a problem over here. Just notice how fast we can switch between apps. No issues whatsoever. Even the recent panel, it stays buttery smooth. The experience overall of the UI, it's just really smooth experience. And here are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test on this particular build to give you an idea about the overall UI performance. And of course, for this specific device in the lock screen settings of the customization, if you just scroll down more, we will get the UDFS customization. And this is just special because you will not get these kind of features with devices like the Redmi Note 10 Pro and stuff or even Poco F5. Yes, I am going to be trying this ROM for the Poco F5 in future. So do stay tuned for that. I haven't yet flashed it. I need to back up and stuff. So yeah, that's a different kind of topic. But yeah, for the Redmi K20 Pro, you are actually getting the UDFPS icon pickers. And just notice how many fingerprint scanner icons you are getting on this particular ROM. So yeah, pretty much huge, huge amount of fingerprint scanner options are there. These are the icons, I mean. And let me just go back. We have the UDFPS custom animations as well. So pretty much you will get plethora of customizations for the fingerprint scanner. That is really, really a good thing. And there is of course the lock screen style and stuff. You can change the lock screen clock style from right here. I have been using with the N.57, that's nothing dot font. Even the date style you can change from right here. And again, one of the best features about this ROM I feel is this particular ring around the fingerprint scanner. It just looks so beautiful to me at least. So let me know down there in the comments what you guys think about the latest Rising OS version 1.4 Elysium on the Redmi K20 Pro and the dark theme and stuff everything is just working perfectly well as you can see 
with this particular ROM. And of course, I have to say the always on display and stuff of this ROM, it's just superb. Like a camera version 5 to have right out of the box, that's a really nice feature. And with all these functionalities, I am loving the Rising OS on the K20 Pro at least. And if you like this ROM as well, give this video a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the latest Rising OS on the K20 Pro, how it's working. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KD Index signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.